you. My pleasure to be here. Live what you love. Mm. That seems to me the right way to live. Um, I've been flicking through the book. There are so many clear examples to attain that kind of lifestyle. How did you come about, how did it get to that point where you can have that much uh, knowledge about what it is to be happy in your work um, and to be successful? Yeah, you know, I, I actually explore both those things as what is happiness and what is success because I think people spend a lot of time chasing something that actually if they stop, reflected and make powerful choices, they're actually experiencing that right now. So I feel very fortunate. I'm a founder of a business that has established itself as a brand in Australia. We give good times at Red Balloon. We're all about experiences. I find myself in the fortunate position of blogging to literally hundreds of thousands of people. And I wanted to use this role that I have actually for the betterment of well-being because when people um, experience life to the full they do great work they're creative and obviously we pass that on to our children. So there's a lot about passion here and I, I, I'm kind of very passionate about books and about the, the industry as a whole and I feel fortunate to be in a, in a role that actually allows me to, mm -hmm. to live that so I'm doing what you're, you're saying I can tweak it because I've been reading the book and going mm -hmm. ah, there's things I can get more out of my life and, and more with, to do with time mm. and about priorities mm. that I can find. Now, your business is extraordinarily successful. How did that begin? Oh, look, I started my business at home, in, in like literally years ago. It's more than 14 years ago that I started my business. And the whole dot-com thing was just beginning to take off. And I naively said, oh, I'll start one of those. That sounds like fun. And um, I thought I could do that. Uh, I had young children. I wanted to spend more time with them. So I left my corporate career. And I thought, oh, I know, I'll play with my kids in the day and I'll work at night. And, uh, you know, when the kids gang up on me and said, Mom, why do we have to go to bed at 5.30? You know, I knew something wasn't quite right. But but, um, you know, the thing is that I, I did have a passion for people having good times. I truly believe in shared experience. I want people, more than anything, you know, that's what we look back on our, on our lives, good times and bad times, but it's the exper experiences that we shared. Um, and so I, I had a deep, innate passion for doing that. Also, I couldn't find anything for my husband as a gift. I go, oh, this seems like an idea. So there was, you know, there's plenty of reasons why I started the business. I had a background in marketing, so I knew about branding um, and uh, creating that. But what I found is people often look at me and say, oh, it's all right for her. You know, she came up with a good idea or I'm just like everybody else. You know, I was brought up in middle class Australia, went to local school. Um, but what I have done is make really clear choices. And that's part of what this book is exploring, is, is people really having conscious choice. So instead of life happening to you, you happen to life. And you really, you know, you, you look into it and, and, and take your time to do that. I deliberately wrote the book so that people could drop in and drop out. I understand that people are time poor. I'm one of them. I am no different than anybody else. I have as much chaos in my life as everybody else does. But what I did want is bite-sized people. I think this is, this is the, the wonder of it because there are so many different areas in the book I mean, about leadership, uh, about purpose, um, the happiness as I mentioned before. Mm. And you need them at different times in your career or even if you're just your working life mm -hmm. in, in that, in that sort of working year. And you can just drop in. And there are bite-sized bits, there are bits you can just um, tick off. Like there's, there's little um, exercises you can run off, and, uh, run off and do. But there are the, the, the brilliant quotes that are sprinkled <laughs> through, it, through it as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, I just want to sort of touch on a few of the, few of the areas. The one that really got me um, thinking last night was, uh, was about purpose. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's very important to have that, that connection between what you're doing every day and what you think you ought to be doing or you really want to do. Um, and going through um, this last part uh, on purpose and, and looking at the passions and looking at, at, at trying to stop yourself in, in your tracks and saying, if you are worried or if you are concerned or you're not as happy in your job, have you drifted yeah. from that initial purpose? And it's good for individuals, but also it seems to be good for whole businesses to actually go, do you still have the purpose you started off with? You know, yeah. Do you drift? Do businesses drift? Mm. Have you seen that in your experiences in, in businesses, seeing that they start off with this great idea and they've sort of got caught up and complicated and started to, to drift? Yeah. Yes, I do see that. But I was really clear when I wrote the book that it's not a business book. Anybody in Australia can pick up this book and get value from it. Actually, anybody in the world can pick up this book and get great value from it. Because being an entrepreneur, 
starting a business is not for everybody and it's not what people necessarily choose to do so you know you love books so you need to be around other people who love books and um, having that capacity and working in an organization is going to serve your purpose so it's more the fact that we stick to our purpose rather than getting lost and making a choice you know I, I, I I've said many times you know I've been offered all sorts of uh, jobs over the time and um, I've always chosen the one that has come back to people and people engagement and how people feel feel about life and uh, so I've always stuck to my purpose but it, quite frankly I wasn't able to articulate it until much later on and, and that often happens you know you're kind of running and you know that good feels good but you don't really know why and this is this is what this book is to help is say oh that I feel good when I do that well maybe I should do more of that sort of thing and quite often we don't take the time to actually reflect it's, it's, it's extraordinary that you're able to um, to bring those experiences because it it can be very cloudy when you try and put down, like, this is what I've learned, how do I get that out and express it? I mean, I suppose by using the blog and by using LinkedIn and communicating, having feedback all the time, mm -hmm. that it helps you, you craft that, that really direct speech that you've got in here. You've got, you just nail it. Just, just take a subject, hit it on, on its head. There's no confusion no. about it. You've just expressed it. It's, uh, it's very cleverly done. Um, um, I wanted to ask you another thing, um, which is separate. It's sort of... When I'm reading through the book and I'm thinking um, of, of one Naomi Simpson, and then I hear that you're on um, Shark Tank on Channel 10, is it? Yeah. yeah. How, did that, how did that transition happen? Well, um, so the first thing is to look at um, the choices I've made in my own life. So I feel very fortunate. I had great role models in my life. My mother, um, she worked for a great Australian entrepreneur by the name of Lindsay Cannamore. So I've always had these great great role models in my life and not everybody has that you know they kind of they might be sitting in one world and they think I really want that so I was prepared to say I had role models I will be role model for somebody else um, and so I started blogging and this is years and years ago I started writing my blog and um, I've written like 800 posts or more like a, you know yeah. I've got a lot to say <laughs> So I started blogging um, and that got picked up by LinkedIn uh, and I was one of their first in the influencer program and I'm by far Australia's leading uh, influencer but I think I'm like top 20 in the world. You know, I'm way up there with Obama and uh, Richard uh, Branson. I know, I know, I'm equally surprised sometimes. <laughs> But the feedback that I get consistently is because the way I write is the way I speak. And I'm just talking normally. As if I'm, we're chatting now, I just, this is the way I talk. And I usually have a colourful story to give an example or to highlight the point that I'm trying to make. Mm. But when I started writing on such a broader scale to so many people, I was getting so many insights and it actually broadened my horizons. Instead of looking, oh, this is the way I see the world. I had such a greater insight into other people's lives. And so I started collecting that and saying, you know, actually, I think I could do something with this um, and to be a role model on an even broader scale. So I wrote the book um, and it did take quite a long time to put together. It wasn't something that just was put together quickly. I've been working on it for quite a long time, more than a year for an entrepreneur. That's a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, some authors will say only a year and others will say that's a very long time. But um, so... You know, the book was finished. The book was at the publisher, and then came the call. And I got, uh, actually it was an email, and I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and they contacted me about Shark Tank. I had to be, hey, what's this Shark Tank thing? And somebody said, oh, no, it's fantastic, fantastic. Um, and I didn't mean to play hard to get, but the executive producer said, look, we want to interview you. And I said, oh, not a problem, but I'm not around. I'm in Melbourne. Not a problem, we'll come to Melbourne. And when I met them in the cafe, They'd set it up like a studio with lights and cameras and everything. I was like, oh, this is really... And they said, yeah, we're shine. And I go, oh, right, the best producers in Australia. So, um, so you know, and that's where, where it came from. So the, why I chose to do uh, Shark Tank is apart from being fundamentally curious about other people's lives and, you know, I get to see all of these great businesses, is because I get to be a role model for anybody else who wants to start a business or, or to see women in leadership, and it's about balanced voice. Well, there's a, there's a good part here on... on um, leaders being encouragers, yeah. which I, in that sense, that's what being a role model is. It's, mm. it's, that, a, it's that seeing the, 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 the potential in somebody and, and helping them out and being their mentor and, and encouraging them, them mm. through. It's those kinds of, those kinds of positive um, points throughout this book which make it such a delight just to, to dip into. Mm. And I think that we're going to have, here at Booktopia, and being selfish, we're going to have some success with, with, with selling it. But I think that's going to be one of those books we're going to be dipping into for years. Yeah. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming to Booktopia.
It's been my pleasure. Now, every Simpsons book is available from bookchapter.com.au right now.